What's up everyone, Mickey here. Thank you very much for checking my channel and I really appreciate you taking the time off to click and listening to me right now. I hope and pray that everything I say will have a positive impact in your life. So thank you. So how's your day been? Uh, mine has been okay until I broke my phone and it went upside down. Um, you don't realize how much we rely on these things called phones. Um, but this is just by the way. So I was thinking, as always, and I, two, two questions came into my head, and I want your opinion on these questions. So it's not a rhetorical question, so I'll be happy if you can go into the comment section and tell me your opinion on these two questions. So what are these questions? So one, what is your definition of riches, of being rich? What is your definition? So when we say someone is rich, is it about money? Is it about cars? Is it about the family? So what is your definition of being rich? And two, do you think riches make people happy? These are the two questions. Okay, I'll give you my opinion. So to me, for someone to be rich, they will have to get something we call self-fulfillment, right? Or self-actualization, which is at the apex of Maslow's hierarchy of needs. So what is Maslow's hierarchy of needs? So it's a theory where our needs, human needs, has been categorized in, into five stages or five uh, cat, uh, groups. So it's been arranged in a py pyramid form, right? So there is an assumption that a lot of people are able to fulfill their needs at the bottom and few people are able to reach the top to fulfill that self-actualization or self-fulfillment needs. So I'll break it down. So the five needs are, so at the bottom we have your basic needs, which is your need for food, your need for water, um, your need for shelter, even your need for sex. So that is the basic need. And then the second one is safety needs or security. You know, so everyone wants to be safe. Everyone wants to be secured somehow. So that's the second human need. And then the third one is your need for love and belongingness. So that's why we get married. So that's why we start family, so that we will have people to love us and that we can also love them. And then the fourth one is self-esteem. So everyone in a group wants to be recognized. So self-esteem, you want to be recognized by others. Uh, that is our fourth need. And then on the top, on the apex, which is my definition of being rich, is self-actualization or self-fulfillment. That is what. And one thing about self-actualization and self-fulfillment is my self-actualization is different from your self-actualization or self-fulfillment. So self-fulfillment is when, <clears throat> you, as you're watching me right now, you have something in your head and you have a goal that you say, if I'm able to get this, then I've made it. You know, that is your self-fulfillment. It might be a career level. It might be some sort of business, maybe some the type of family you want to start. So that is self-actualization. And I think it's different. So riches is different. What you think what will make you rich will not make someone else rich. So that's what I think. But the second question is, does it make you rich? happy i think self-actualization will make will not make you happy until you learn to be content with where you are in the hierarchy of needs so what am i saying so let's say you are able to just fulfill to get food and a place to lay your head you will have to be happy with that until you are happy with that you will never feel rich you will never feel fulfilled you know, when the Bible says, when you get a place to lay your head and you get something to eat and you get something to wear, let that be enough for you. The Bible is actually showing you how to be rich, you know, until you will be content with the things you have and be thankful. You will never feel rich. Let me give you an example. You see, there are a lot of government, you know, world leaders, they stash money in offshore accounts. And sometimes when they tell you the amount of money they have in their offshore account, if it was you, you would stop working. But because they don't have contentment, they are still stealing money. And they stash it, they stack it and stack it and stack it. And then sometimes they just 
die and leave it. Some of them, will, their family will not even be able to retrieve that money. That is lack of contentment. That is lack of contentment. Another one is you get someone dealing in drugs and they make a lot of money from selling these drugs. And sometimes you want to, you feel that maybe if you have that money, you start investing it in something else. But no, they go until they hit the dead end. That is lack of contentment. They end up in prison or they die out of it. I can give you a lot of examples. You, you get these um, celebrities who's got money, but they are suffering from depression. That is lack of contentment. So until you get, you become content with what you have, right? You will never be rich. But when I say be content with what you have, there's a caveat to it. What I mean is, I don't mean sit down, be content with what you have and just sit there, right? The world that you live in, it's always moving so you have to move with it so if you remember I made a video baby steps right baby steps if you've not seen it go and watch it you will have to improve yourself but as you are improving yourself to get success learn to enjoy every stage of that success you know enjoy the process right be content with where you 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 are and then use that to move on Right? And I actually think that contentment can give you riches. Contentment can give you self-fulfillment. What am I saying? Contentment will keep you focused. Right? Let's say you have a dream of starting a business and you need some amount of money to do that. If you're not content, you will not be able to save that money because let's say you have only a moped or a motorbike. You will look at what someone is driving, say a Range Rover, and you will take your savings to buy that Range Rover because you're not content with the motorbike, right? So contentment can actually help you reach self-fulfillment. Something that contentment can also do is it will make you charitable. It will make you, if you're not content with what you have, how do you give someone, you know? Give and it will be given to you. It is better to give than to receive. And I've read a lot of books of successful people, Michael, um, Robert Kiyosaki, um, Alan Sugar, and they all say that being charitable made them rich. It's one of the secrets of getting self-actualization. So actually being content with what you have will make you have sympathy on people and you, you will share the letter that you have and that will take you, that will give you a lot of blessing. Another thing that contentment can do is it will make you discipline. It will make you discipline. Because you are so content with what you have, you will not go and cut corners. You know, you will not try to do something bad, something illegal to be rich. So it will, because you're content with the process and you're enjoying the process so much, you will take your time to get to self-actualization and it will taste sweeter when you get there. And another thing is, if you're self, if, if, if you're content with what you have, you live within your means. And that is another hallmark. That is another secret of becoming rich. You will live within your means. You will not do things to catch up with what others are doing. So that is contentment. And the final thing that contentment will do for you is it will make you happy. Have you ever been to a remote area, a village, a third world country, and you look at them and they don't have a lot, but they are happier than you who, who's got all. They are happier than the people who live in an advanced country. You know, when we were growing up, we didn't have it. You know, we didn't have the best clothes, but we were so happy until the internet came in and then we started seeing what a child 6,000 miles away had and you don't, you know, and then you started envying. It will help you to be happy. So what I'm saying is be content with what you have. By all means, chase success, but enjoy every moment of it. So as always, if I said something that offended you, please forgive me. And as I said earlier, I would love to know your opinion on this subject. What is your definition of being rich? And what do you think? Do you think being rich makes people happy? As always, 
be positive, dream big, and just do it. Thank you very much. Bye.